Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to announce my July TBR, which also happens to be the 2021 Fuckathon TBR, run by Noria at Chronicles of Noria. Let's get started with the prompts. The first prompt is Fuck Colonialism. Read a book with anti-colonialist themes. And I chose Gear Breakers by Zoe Hanna Makuta. And this is a dystopian science fiction-esque story. It's about two women, Eris and Sona. Both have the same goal of taking up this empire. Both have the same goal of taking down this empire, but they are going about it in different ways. One is a very out one is a very outspoken rebel and the other is working on the inside and they end up meeting and joining forces prompt number two fuck the gender binary read a book with a non-binary protagonist or written by a non-binary author and i have chosen lost in the neverwoods by aiden thomas and aiden thomas from what i've been able to research is non-binary if i am wrong on that please someone correct me but Lost in the Woods is a retelling-esque of Peter Pan. So where Wendy and her brothers went into the woods as children and only Wendy came out. And now she's grappling with that and she is going to go back into the woods to find them and find out what happened. All right, so prop number three is Fuck Polyamory. Read a book with a prominent polyamorous relationship. And this one I had a little bit of trouble with just because most book descriptions don't state this. And so I had to go to the internet and search out or ask for help finding prompts. So if this is not 100% accurate, again, please correct me. Otherwise, this is what I'm going with. But I've chosen The Wicked and the Divine by Karen Gillan and Wilson Cowles. From what I understand, this is a book where, or er, well, I can just read you the back of it. Every 90 years, 12 gods return as young people. They are loved, they are hated. In two years, they are all dead. It's happening now, it's happening again. And it's a story, it's a, I know that I've heard other booktubers talk about this series and it's something that's been on my radar and I feel like this is a perfect time to pick it up and get started. So for prompt number four, fuck land borders. Read a book about immigration. And I have chosen Blackwater Sister because it talk, or in this description, it says that Jessamine is moving back to Malaysia. And I think if you move anywhere, that is immigration because you're planning to live there for a time at least. And this book, uh, Jessamine is hearing a voice in her head and finds out that it is the ghost of her grandmother who is wanting her to avenge her goddess. So prompt number five, fuck the police. Read a book that fully embodies the principles of restorative justice. And for this, I have chosen Until We Reckon by Danielle Sarad. So briefly, this is a nonfiction and, and in this book, Sarad is supposed to be giving ideas of how to end mass incarceration and how to still have safety among the people. And I am looking forward to reading this. Let's face it, I'm looking forward to reading all the books on my list. Otherwise, I wouldn't have chosen them. Number six, fuck Highlander misogyny. Read a book that centers sisterhood, women building other women up, or women creating space for other women. So for this prompt, I am using Gear Breakers again. Again, from the description, with the two main characters working together, it seems like this is going to fit the prompt. And if it doesn't, after I read the first one, I will have to look for something else. Number seven, fuck that phobia. Read a book with a plus size protagonist. And after listening to all the hype for this series, I feel it's time for me to read Get a Life, Chloe Brown. And actually this is from the library and I just discovered someone left a cute bookmark in here. It's Christmas themed. That's always fun when you find little surprises. I think I'll just leave it and that will be the bookmark I use and I'll return it with the book. This book follows Chloe and she has an 
list of things that she wants to do in her life. And she lists the help of a man named Red. Number eight, fuck yourself. Do something that is utterly selfish and makes you happy. And I have not decided what that is going to be. So that will be a surprise to even me. I'll figure something out this, this coming month. And prop number nine, read the group book, which is We Do This Till We Are Free, Abolitionist Organizing and Transformative Justice by Mariami Kaba. And it seems, I don't know anything about this book, but from the description, it sounds like it's talking about how we don't have to wait for someone else to save us. We can institute change and do that ourselves. And this is the only book that I'm not sure I'm going to get to in July, not because I don't want to read it, but because of the number of holds on my library. And it looks like that I'm not going to get it until like one of the last days in July. And I'm slow when it comes to reading nonfiction. If I don't finish this one in July, I'll definitely finish it in August. So thank you for joining me. This has been my 2021 Fuckathon Readathon. And if you are also participating, please let me know. If you are also a booktuber and have created your own TBR list, please link your video for me so then I can watch it myself. Thank you and have a great day.